Hey everybody, I wanted to just hop on here real quick and recap this past Sunday. We had our fourth uh, interest meeting and we talked about the three circles of fellowship. What I shared with the folks was in my experience over over 30 years in ministry, watching it, observing it in myself and in others, uh, what brings out the best uh, maturity and well-roundedness as a believer. And I mentioned these three fellowships, uh, three groups to be involved with. We find it in Hebrews 10.25 where uh, the scripture says for us not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Uh, interesting word, right? The word to assemble. It's not just to get together, but how we assemble. And so these three groups, number one was an open gathering. That's a weekend service. That's where anybody and everybody comes and uh, it's never the same group of people. Uh, you could say you ha may have the same number of people, but it's different. Uh, every time the Lord brings in on a given Sunday uh, to that larger gathering, and we just are, are excited about that because you never know who you're going to meet, and you never know how they may influence and uh, be a help and a blessing to you, or you to be a help and a blessing to them. And so, but to have that larger gathering uh, where it's just sort of the uh, you know, the diversity of humanity is a beautiful, wonderful thing. And then we talked about being a part of a closed group. This is most of the time a small group. It may be open at the beginning, but then you close it up later on to where, uh, uh, because what you want to do is to be able to have uh, a place to where you can dig, uh, go a little bit deeper with people. Uh, so it's a smaller group. We, we say, I like this phrase, where you can take the mask off. And so... Uh, that's that group. That's where probably the majority of like real Christian growth and the maturity comes from when you can, uh, it, and, and, it's, and it's not just with that, with that particular group, maybe a six or eight people, but within that group, you may find one uh one on one uh somewhere along the line where you're sitting down at a cup of coffee and and uh, being able to really to to go deep uh into each other's lives and so we think it's important to be a part of a, a smaller closed group and then to be a part of a team so there's something about that camaraderie to where basically the team serves and facilitates the other two groups uh but there's something about a shared purpose where you are all living for something larger than uh, any one of you. And so these were the three fellowships, uh, the three circles of fellowship that I talked about this past Sunday and how important it is to be a part of all of those. If you will remember the week before, I spoke about what we want for everyone who comes to our church. We want them to follow Jesus. We want them to find freedom. We want them to figure their worth. We want them to be involved in freeing others. And if you'll notice, these uh, three circles of fellowship right here will help facilitate. Uh, we hope that in all three of those uh, groups, you learn to follow Jesus better. We think in all three of all uh, all three of those groups, uh, we believe there'll be a little bit of all of that in these. But primarily in that open, larger gathering, we really want to bolster what it means to be in Christ. We want you to have a good understanding of who you are in Jesus, and so that'll facilitate that. Uh, figuring your worth. In that smaller group, obviously, is where you'll be able to talk about things maybe a little more personal, a little more individual, finding the freedom. And then, obviously, uh, to be on a team, you're going to be involved, not just you personally in freeing others, but a teamwork to free others. And so we just think that there is um, that it will work uh, really well together. So, again, three circles of fellowship. Let me encourage you uh, to be involved in all three of these, understanding that those three will help to facilitate these four. And that's what we covered this past week. We have one more interest meeting coming up in a couple of weeks, and then we will be moving indoors to some soft openings uh, for our church service, looking uh, so forward to it, very excited about what the uh, Lord has in store for all of us, believing that he is doing big things here in our small town. Thank you for being a part uh, of the journey or being on the journey with us. Thank you for tuning in and just watching this here, um, a little five-minute recap about it. Look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. God bless. Bye.